Welcome to Koala Nation. In this tutorial we are going to bring images to life with Comfy UI and Animate Diff. We will build an easy image to video workflow. Wait until the end to learn a small trick to use random images and create the most surprising animations. This is a very easy example to create and to use. You can further elaborate on it and add your own twist. I hope it can get you enthusiastic about Comfy UI and Animate Diff. We are going to need the following custom nodes. And we will also need to have the following models installed. As always, we can access most nodes and models through the manager. For Animate LCM, download the model and the LoRa from the link in the description. Dream Shaper can be downloaded from Civit.ai. Once installed, remember that it is convenient to update Comfy UI and restart the program. Let's start. The checkpoint that we are going to use for the tutorial is Dream Shaper 8. Since we are going to use Animate LCM, we first have to add a LoRa loader and select the Animate LCM LoRa. We leave the strength at 1. If we used an LCM checkpoint, such as the distilled version of Dream Shaper 8, we would lower strength to 0.3. Later we will use sparse control, so we need to add the Animate Diff version 3 adapter. We connect the LoRa loader and select the adapter. Now, we create our Animate Diff module. We add used evolve sampling and connect them. To apply the Animate Diff motion model, we first add the Apply Animate Diff model node and connect this to the motion model loader. We select the Animate LCM model. To be able to run animations longer than 32 frames, we must also set context options. We select Looped Uniform and leave the configuration as it is. The next thing to do is to use an IP adapter with a reference image. We place an IP adapter tiled. In the new version of IP adapter we can use the IP adapter unified loader through which we connect the model. We select the plus model, but this workflow also works well with VITG. Of course, we need to add an image. With this configuration, we now connect it to the case sampler. We continue with the prompt. The animation will be quite influenced by the IP adapter. Nevertheless, I recommend using one that describes the reference image. For this example, woman on water, magic, fire ring. Let's add two control nets. The first is control net tile. We use a strength of 0.25 and an end percentage of 0.8. We connect the reference image directly to this control net. In the second, we are going to use sparse scribble. Instead of a regular control net loader, we use the load sparse control models node. We connect it and select the sparse control scribble model. We set the strength at 1 and the end percent at 0.4. For this control net we need a scribble image. We add a fake scribble lines node and connect the images. We want to generate 72 frames in our animation, but because we will use interpolation later, we define the batch size with 36 frames. We change the dimensions of the latent to 512 and 768. We are going to change some settings of the case sampler. We fix the seed. We reduce the number of steps to 8 and the CFG scale to 1.2. Because we use LCM, the sampler has to be LCM2. As a scheduler, SGM uniform. We remove the save image node and connect a video combine node. We increase the frame rate to 12, use the MP4 format and deactivate save output. Let's run the workflow and see how it turns out. Here we have a very interesting draft. Now, let's add a new K sampler to refine the animation. Copy the K sampler and disconnect the latent one. We scale the image by 1.5 and use it as a reference for the K sampler. Copy and connect the video combine node to the new sampler. 
reduce the noise to 0.7, and test it. With this configuration, we can fine-tune the parameters to see how it looks better. For example, if we want to add some extra movement, we can use Effect Multival. We return to the Animate Diff module and connect a Multival Dynamic node. We increase it to 1.2 and see how it turns out. Not bad. Finally, we will scale and interpolate to improve the resolution of the animation. We run the workflow again. And these are the results. To finish the tutorial, let's have fun with this trick. We go to the site pixum.photos, which generates random images. Copy the first address and return to ComfyUI. Put a load video path node and convert video to input. Now, put a primitive string multiline node and copy the link twice. Change 200 to 512 and 300 to 768. Now connect this node to text random line, and this one to the load video path node. Reconnect the image with the IP adapter and the control net. We can add a display node if we want, or not if we want to be surprised. And this is all. I hope you liked this simple tutorial. Stay tuned.